Your office work as yeah, well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like that a lot of the time. You're forward a lot in that. So around your back here, your lower traps, which literally draw your shoulders back and down. This bit is a lot weaker, so that muscle imbalance there causes you to roll your shoulders forward. For those of you that have been following me for a few years, you know that I got very tight shoulders. You saw I went for a sports massage two years ago, and the guy assessed me and said basically I should keep going to sports therapy. Uh, I didn't end up carrying on just because I just kind of was really lazy with it. But this year of 2019, I want to really look after my body. So I want to like improve my skin, I want to improve my hip flexion, I want to improve my shoulders. So we're going to go into what I can do for exercises to hopefully improve them over time. Okay, so they're going to take me through like exercises for my front delts in particular. Like, that's what I was told. Actually, you know what, you assessed me from the beginning. Like, ignore everything that Peter did last time. This is a brand new physio, pretend it is, and you can just kind of assess, like, yeah. the rotation is piss poor. Yeah, okay, well, I'll just have a look at your actual range of movement first. And like not feel pain? Not feel pain, no. Oh, they're definitely pain. <laughs> like as soon as my shoulder gets to around here, yeah. it tightens up and it's mainly the front bit, it just locks yeah. up. Yeah. Do you want to clean taking the top off? Oh, I'm going to be fat. This is when I showed this when I was lean. This is the bulking body people. Also, I didn't shave because I didn't know I was going to have to do this. Okay. Elbows in by your side like that. I'm just going to rotate your arms out. Keep your elbows in as tight as you can. Okay, and that's the tightest. In, so we're nice and tight in that there as well. Just relax, relax, relax. And then rotate your elbows out again there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's probably as much as I can go. So tight. So if you relax there, this yeah. is good range. That far? Yeah. <laughs> Next as well, just arm up behind your back as far as you can. This is literally showing how poor my hips and arms and everything is. That is probably the highest you can take it. Right, okay. So you want to be able to get your arm like that, just showing the, to the camera. Mm. And then if you relax your arm down to the back, so just put it flat to your back like that. And then try and lift your hand off your back. Just a little bit there, good. So it's more in your front shoulders than your yeah. actual, actual rear shoulder there as well. Okay, uh, I will just check your strength. So arms down, going out to the side. Push up, push up, push up. Any pain there at all? No. There. <laughs> push up there, down to arms out in front of you, push up against me there. Is that right? That was alright. Yep. And again there? Yeah, for yep. this one. So if your camera comes straight on there and you watch him push, if you watch that shoulder. So what he's doing here is he's recruiting this trap, which I said at the beginning were nice and tight up here. And so his shoulder's sitting slightly like that, which is causing him when he raises his arms, because of this pain that he's getting in his yep. shoulder. This is holding on, this is holding a lot tighter and it's trying to recruit basically. And what we want to do, from looking at your posture and stuff here, you really, you are really developed in like your, your beach muscles in a sense. <laughs> your, your anterior shoulder, yeah. your chest and stuff like that. And we'd want your shoulders to be sitting more back into this position here. I see it a lot in your office work as yeah, well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like that a lot of times. You're forward a lot in that. So around your back here, yeah. lower your lower traps, which literally draw your shoulders back and down, so you like imagine putting your shoulder blades into your back pockets in a sense. Down here, it all gets super, super like this bit is a lot weaker, so that muscle imbalance there causes you to roll your shoulders forward. You build and develop more range of motion in your shoulders and build and develop that lower part of your traps so you can pull back into the position. So, so is there any exercise or stretches? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll go through some exercise and stuff just first of all, just to look at your mobility. The first exercise we're going to do is called a wall angel. You want to bring your elbows to the wall. So first of all, sit in this sort of squat position on the wall. Yeah. Back nice and flat, no arch in your back at all. Elbows to the wall and you want to rotate your arms up. Try and sit them flat against the wall there. If you can do that, phase two is to come in up above your head. And phase three, full pressing extension above your head. Okay, just see whereabouts you're at. First of all, just make sure your back is completely flat. Good, good, good. So elbows to the wall, elbows up like that. And try and rotate upwards towards the wall. And you're supposed to be able to touch flat? You're meant to be able to Jesus touch Jesus Christ. So, yeah, it's not going to happen. So I have to bend my back. So for this 
Um, for this here, what you, what you want to do is basically work within your good range. So from here, yeah. rotate up, back down, up, back down. So we're mobilizing the shoulders in this position. So you want to take it to that stretch point every yeah. time. Just make sure you're at 90 degrees, so your arms are up, down, up, down, up. And really feel that stretch and push yeah. it there. And you want to keep working at that. And that, doing that will mobilize and loosen off this front part of your shoulder a little yeah. bit. So this, guys, is super, super common. They see it a lot, and it's just because people that, people that work in offices and then people that, that exercise a lot, that do like a lot of chest, and shoulders and stuff and like you generate and you build this kind of anterior rotation forward of the shoulders it sits them in poorer positions so everyone in the gym would be a lot better if they did this and developed that lower back a little bit more because it's what pulls your shoulder blades back into positioning enables you better mobility and gives you like more room to work so your biggest tip more. is basically focus on lower back exercise a lot more to yeah, kind of yeah. pull you back yeah, so it's not, not just lower back, but it's lower traps specifically because okay. obviously like you've got your like erector spiny which you work more in like your deadlifts and back extensions and stuff like that. Um, but your lower traps actually attach yeah. just turn around here. Your lower lower traps actually attach onto your um, shoulder blade, so your scapula yeah. here. So when you strip when you strengthen them it pulls oh, you back okay, into yeah. better position. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's good good information. Yeah. Last time I didn't get all of that, you just yeah. kinda of started cracking and, yeah, and it was yeah. ridiculous the amount of like Noises like the muscle that's getting broken yeah, out. It was no, just, yeah, yeah. it was so I mean, painful. like you can obviously get in a lot of. If it, I was seeing you clinically, yeah. I would do um, soft tissue work and try and loosen off like the, the upper traps mainly and focus on them and like the rhomboids a little bit. And then uh, using the strengthening work, I'd be pulling you back into better positioning. The whole idea of physio, how I see it, is I don't want to treat the problem, I want to fix the problem. So again, that's like I said, we'll show you some exercises down in the gym to focus on getting yourself into them better positions. So guys, to so make sure that you're targeting your lower traps when you're doing these exercises. So we're going to show uh, TJ two exercises. First one is with the seated row, and the next one is a lat pull down variation, but we're going to target the lower traps. So basically what the lower traps do, pull these shoulder blades into good position and then you want to row from that point there. We're going to lose the ego, we're going to take the ego out of the gym completely, go nice and light. And what we're going to do is roll the shoulders forward and then from that point there we can pull the shoulder blades back and feel that pull of them going into the look, going like putting them into your back pockets. So that is the first movement. Then from there you're going to pull towards your belly button to really emphasize that squeeze in the lower traps, pull towards your belly button. What you don't want to do is extend your back too far and you pull in, and then you pull in again with your upper traps, which a lot of people tend to do, or if you swing, it ends up being your upper traps. So nice and stable, shoulders down to your back pockets, pull to your belly button, squeeze the lower traps, back forward. Let your shoulders roll forward, let that go, let that go. Pull back in there, yep, and row down. Really feel that squeeze. So each time you have to pull forward each time? Yeah, yeah. Pull. Yes. So basically, we're going to be using them a lot of the time, so we want to be using these as much as we can. Pulling your shoulders back and down there. Right guys, so the next exercise that we're going to do for this bit is another row, but how we're going to focus it. As you can see, the, the angle of the machine is quite high, and we're pulling downwards motion. So this is the fact that we can keep the tension on the lower trap. So it's easy, again, take the tension, see nice and tight, shoulders roll forward, into your back pockets, down to your belly button. But the fact that we're pulling downwards makes it easier to engage that portion of your lower traps. do that there again the weight isn't very high it's not about the weight at all it's about the time under tension and feeling the muscle contract to make sure that you can get the strength 
get the stability there to be more functional in the longer run. I want to say a big thank you to Adam actually like assessing these shoulders. I will at some point carry on doing actual sports therapy as well because yeah, yeah. I've been meaning to do for ages but it's been putting it off. Obviously normally in clinic I remember going to a bit more depth and look at it at a few different angles and stuff like that but in this environment it's pretty difficult to do and as well obviously you'd, you'd need like a treatment plan to yeah. be seen regularly to like Make sure that you're like mobilizing it and getting it into the right positions and checking your progress. Basically. Especially this left yeah, foot yeah. delt, man. It's like vlogging, isn't it? All that vlogging, <laughs> like. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is probably accessing it. Yeah, check it out. Really, it's really, yeah. it's really intense. <laughs> I want to say a big thank you. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next yeah. video. Peace out.